when somebody comes to me for help with weight loss, I'll ask them, have you much weight on? Do you, do you need to lose you know, half a stone, a stone, or, or sometimes more? And then I'll ask, how long have you had this issue? Is it something that has happened in a relatively short period of time, perhaps through an injury or some health issue where you've put on a lot of weight over a short period of time? Or is it, as is the case more often, that you've always had some weight on and sometimes weight's gone on uh, more easily than, than others? And what I'm looking for is programs in your subconscious mind. Food doesn't accidentally get into your body you put it into your body. Nobody forces you necessarily to eat. And when you're eating, you're eating for all kinds of emotional reasons, not necessarily physical reasons, not because you're physically hungry. And if you are overweight and assuming that there's no medical reason for that, it isn't thyroid or anything else like that, it's usually emotional issues that's going on in the subconscious mind. And when you're eating emotionally, what you're trying to do is change a feeling that you have. And when you do eat, you create serotonin in the body. Now, serotonin is a feel-good chemical. And while some of it's in the brain, 95% of serotonin is created in the gut, in the belly. So when you eat something, especially something sweet, you get your fix of serotonin. You feel better, makes you feel good. But then the feeling goes and you have to eat again and you get that feeling and then it goes again. So you get into a cycle of eating uh, chasing this elusive high feeling, trying to change how you feel. Now, when we look at ourselves in the mirror, if you, if you don't like what you see when you look at yourself in the mirror, more than likely then you're going to engage in negative internal dialogue. You're going to be saying all kinds of stuff to yourself. And what you say to yourself is true. And what you say to yourself becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. And if you're continually telling yourself bad stuff about you, you make even more of it. In hypnosis, in hypnotherapy and introducing you to trance, we break out of that cycle, stop you engaging in this negative dialogue, this negative attitude to self, and begin to recruit all that's positive, all that's actually good in your subconscious mind to break you out of this emotional eating pattern. Hypnosis then helps you to decide what it is that you want to eat. You don't have to starve yourself to lose weight. You just have to make different choices as regards what it is that you're going to eat. If you'd like more information on this, contact me at the details associated with this video.